welcome you back to Black Sight. And tonight, we're going to talk about this black professor, Preston Mitchell, who said that straight black men are the weakest link in the black community. Professor Mitchell is an enemy of the state, in which I mean he's an enemy of the black community. Here's a man who's angry because we won't support Andrew Gillum, a man who was caught up in a hotel room with a male escort getting his back blown out. He lied to his wife. He discredited his three children. But we are supposed to support him because he feels as though Andrew Gillum was set up. Andrew Gillum wasn't set up. Andrew Gillum was doing what he normally would love to do, be in a room with that male escort. But what really got me mad about this whole thing with Preston Gillum, he compared them to some of the black men who were assassinated by cops. He compared Andrew Gillum to Sean Bell, Mike Brown, Philando Castile. This is the most outrageous statement I have ever heard in my life. And what you have to understand is that over the past 30 or 40 years, this Hollywood, this left-wing liberal progressive agenda has been cultivating men like Preston Mitchum, Andrew Gillum, and so many more who are running around in our community. If you notice, Andrew Gillum has not been lambasted by the media. He's been protected by the media. You haven't heard them go on and on about Andrew Gillum being caught in the bedroom in an uncompromising situation. But can you imagine if it was a straight male caught in that same situation? The media would be all over him. It would be 24-hour news. It may not be 24-hour news because of the pandemic, but they would be all over him. And that shows you in modern-day society that the homosexual, the deviant, black male, has privilege when it comes to white liberal society. And he will now get a leg up on straight black men because he's no threat to white male dominance. He's no threat to white supremacy. See, this is why every time you turn around, they're promoting the Billy Porters. They're, purport they're supporting the Preston Mitchums in his agenda. How the hell could you be mad at straight black men and straight black men are at home with their wives and girlfriends. But Andrew Gillum is up in a room with a male escort. So I'm supposed to get up and support a man who can't even have the respect and the dignity that a man is supposed to have when you have a wife at home with three kids. So I'm supposed to turn a blind eye to this man getting his boosy busted by some white dude in a hotel room and I'm supposed to support him? You must have lost your damn mind. But this is what's happening with these black professors. These are the people who are teaching your children in college to, to, to accept this deviant activity that Andrew Gillum was associated with. And now they have turned their sights onto straight black men, black masculinity. To say that we are the weakest link of the community is absolutely outrageous. We're the strongest link of the community. Because I know one thing, your tender ass ain't protecting nobody. 
who you going who you going to protect you so busy trying to be part of this liberal progressive society that you forgot that you a black man first and you side with the alphabet community over your own community. You must think it's okay that he got caught in that room. That he humiliated his wife. That he should be given a second and third chance. Yeah, you can give him a second or third chance if he was caught in a room with a woman. But he was caught in a room with a man. Caring himself as a family man. But I'm starting to really think that most of these black politicians and people you see in academic, academia, these people you see in the media, have all been vetted by the alphabet community. So they are carrying the water for that community. And what they're trying to do is destroy the black man. See, the enemy of the black man, if you notice, over the past three or four years, haven't been the white conservative. It's been the liberal. It's been the liberal Democrat. The person you support. The support people you give 90% of your vote to. They have been on a jihad against our community. A jihad against the black man and trying to destroy him. And they use these communists, they use these liberal reporters that came up through these liberal institutions to make it seem like we're the problem. We have always been the solution. See, there's a thing that was said that the abnormal will become normal. And see, they want to press the Mitchells the Billy Porters, to become normal. And they want the black man, the alpha black man, that could become abnormal. You see, that's what the white supremacists want. See, they want a change. They want a feminine black man. They don't want a strong one. See, it's so easy to defeat a feminine black man because he'll roll over. See, they want a Don Lemon. They don't want a man who will stand up for his family, stand up for his community, speak with a stern voice, challenge authority. This man is dangerous. This man is the weakest link of the community. And we have to do something about this type of man running around in the community trying to put this nonsense into our children's mind. He's a professor. And that's a dangerous thing. He's teaching that ideology to our young black men. That you can get ahead if you act like me. But if you act like that masculine man, if you act like that man that I'm talking about in that article, you ain't going nowhere. Oh, have times changed. This is sad. I want to thank you for listening to Black Sight. I hope you subscribe to this channel. Smash that like button and share this video.